All right, so the theme today is if you get it, and if you watch this show, I suspect you do, you get, we got a big problem. We have all of the wrong policies being instituted. We have all of the wrong people in charge. We have a media that lies to us about everything. This is a series of things that when you combine them, turns into a very, very toxic situation. Well, okay, what can we do about it? Well, Bill Maher was on Joe Rogan a day or two ago, and they discussed a lot of this and where Maher is at when it comes to saying he's a liberal, who the people he's voting for are, and what is going on with the crazy left. So here, uh, I think you'll see he actually makes some sense. To me, you know, you're, uh, don't you think you've gotten more conservative? No, I haven't. The left has gotten goofier. Yes. So I see more conservative, maybe, but like, it's not me who changed. Yes. I feel I'm the same guy. But five years ago, uh, you know, we hadn't spent six trillion dollars to stay home. Five years ago, no one was talking about abolishing the police. You no. know, there was no talk about. Uh, you know, <laughs> pregnant men, and, you know, I mean, there was just, looting was yeah. still illegal. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Isn't there, that crazy? There was just, there's, so like, have I changed? No, because if someone had said 20 years ago, I, I, I'm not sure looting is a bad thing. I would have opposed it then. See, yeah. I, so I haven't changed. Okay, so Bill and your peeps who may or may not be watching, I wanna give credit there, right? You actually haven't changed that much. Your brand of liberalism, which is a brand of liberalism that is, is quite worthy. It is the same classical liberalism that this country was founded upon. Individual rights, equality for all. Uh, these are good ideas, using logic and reason to solve problems. The government shouldn't do absolutely everything. Uh, these are good ideas, and actually, in many ways, you have not changed. Uh, but he says the left has gotten goofier. Now, of course, that is correct. The, the progressive movement, which is wildly illiberal, has destroyed liberalism. And this is where I think the disconnect comes with Bill. So, okay, if you're a good liberal, but everyone on your side of the aisle, all the people that you've promoted on your show, all the candidates that you've supported, all the Democrats, in essence, if you've always gone with those people, and then suddenly you, you look around and you go, boy, 90% of the people that I associate with are completely insane and are ushering in bad ideas. He lists out a few of them, say abolish the police, or uh, men can get pregnant, or that looting should suddenly be legal, all of these things. If it's all of the people that call themselves liberals or call themselves lefties, then although you may not have changed, perhaps there is something wrong with the root idea of liberalism. And I, this is not something, as I've said before, that I, that I come to lightly as someone that has considered myself a liberal my entire life. The, the basic ideas of a John Stuart Mill liberalism, of Thomas Jefferson liberalism, the, those ideas that ushered in this country are basically the right ideas, but perhaps now they're missing something. Perhaps in an age of massive intolerance and this woke disease, perhaps liberalism, because it puts tolerance above all else. Well, faux tolerance, I should say. Perhaps that weak underbelly has allowed intolerance to come in. So this is a problem. So you can sit there and say, I am a liberal still, but if everyone that you vote for, meaning Democrats, right? The guy has never voted for a Republican. He'll tell you he hates critical race theory, but although he doesn't live in Virginia, did he publicly support Glenn Youngkin? He'll tell you that Florida is doing everything right, um, but he makes a point of always saying, but I don't, I'm not gonna move to Florida, He'll, and he won't say that he's gonna support Ron DeSantis. So this is the disconnect that the last liberals have. And here today, I am coming, I am coming open and welcoming that it's time for you guys to get on board. It's time, enough's enough, it is time to get on board. So if you think I'm making it up that, that conservatives generally have been warning about these things and usually write about these things. So the same liberal position now is that lockdowns are bad and actually men can't give birth in a bunch of it, but conservatives, and, and it's not even conservative, it's just sane people. Like it's really not liberal versus conservative anymore. It's basically people with a completely insane set of views versus people with some sane set of views. And we may disagree on you know, some, where those parameters are at exactly, but roughly sane people versus awful insane people, okay? Uh, 
the same people have been right about a lot. They've been right about the lockdowns. They've been right about what was coming with the gender stuff. They've been right about what was coming with critical race theory and everything else. You may remember this clip on Bill Maher's very show two years ago when Dennis Prager went on to say, in essence, that uh, soon the left will be saying, or they're saying it already, but it's really coming, that men will be able to menstruate. Here we go. The left wing is infinitely larger than one person. I don't yes. choose one left wing person who tells a lie. The left wing says, I'll give you gigantic lies, that the United States is a racist country. This, this is a lie. Wow. This is a gargantuan lie. This is the least Wait. racist, multicultural, multi-ethnic country in the history of the world. That these people believe it is proof to me but, about how effective lying but, but you, can be. You would, uh, this, this is an unbelievably okay. non-racist country. Have you people been to Asia? Do they lies have some that racism have ever been documented. Left. Of course there's racism. I'm a oh, Jew. Okay. There are anti-Semites in America. It is a giant lie that America is anti-Semitic. I taught Jewish history right. at Brooklyn College. Okay. I know it. I wrote okay. two books on Judaism. Yes. This is the least anti-Semitic okay. country Jews have ever lived in. To say America is anti-Semitic is right. a lie. To say it is racist is a lie. Okay, well, These are giant left-wing lies. Well, we're talking about degrees. To say that men can menstruate is a lie. And that is now, that is what is said. Wait, 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 where did that come from? I, I never, wait, you never heard it. Right, okay. Check it out, folks. Check it out. I think, I think Anyone who says wrong. a man wait, wait, cannot wait, wait, menstruate wait, is considered transphobic. I, I, I missed this whole story. You, you did? I did. I I did. Tell, no, tell me where, so where, where you get this. Just Google it. Can men menstruate? Who, but who is saying this? You're who talking about a it? very small no, percentage. Oh, really? Then how do you allow men, biological men, to run against women in, in the races in Connecticut and set all the high oh, school oh, records? Okay, I, but that's... Oh, they're, they're called men. No, no, the Nation see, magazine I wouldn't, said they're, they're, okay, they're women. Okay. okay, so everything that Dennis Prager said there was absolutely true. Dennis Prager actually came to my house right after that show and we had a, a lovely dinner that evening with his wife, Sue. Sue, love you. Um... So Dennis Prager was warning about all of this stuff. And of course, when he says that the country is the least racist country ever, Bill, Bill says, well, there's some racism. But of course, it's just a meaningless position. It is a meaningless position to say there is some racism in America. There is some racism everywhere. And Bill, uh, Dennis's response, have you gone to Asia? I mean, guys, you should do a little Googling if you like to Google or whatever search engine you use about the inter racist attitudes Asian people have about other Asian people from country to country. It's rather extraordinary how the Chinese feel about the Japanese, how the Japanese feel about the Taiwanese, how the, oh, the whole thing, the Koreans feel about this, that, the other, okay? Um, the idea that we are the racist when we have relentlessly fought over the hundreds of years of our country to eliminate racism, and we pretty much almost got there until the last couple of years where the left is bringing it back. But the audience feels very uncomfortable. They're good liberals. We must be racist. We're good liberals. We, we have to be bad. We feel guilty because we're successful and decent. We must be racist. Not, not us, though. It's those other people. It's those other crazy right-wing people. So, of course... Uh, Dennis is completely right about that and exposes it. Uh, and then when he brings up the gender stuff and this thing about women menstruating, Bill says, well, I missed that story. And Dennis says, no, it's happening right now. And he brings up the point that we now all know, like what have we been talking about for the last couple of months about this endless assault, assault, it's the only word to use, of women when it comes to women's sports and now biological men, Leah Thomas, destroying all of these actual girls because he's not a girl, uh, in women's swimming. Uh, Dennis says, look it up. Dennis says, look it up. When Bill is so shocked that uh, people could be saying this about menstruation, well, you're not gonna believe it. We did. And here's what Google says. When you search, can men menstruate? Having a period is not a feminine thing. And people of all genders menstruate, including non-binary people, a gender people and even plenty of men, exclamation point. Menstruation doesn't change anything about your gender. It's just a thing that some bodies do. That is pure bullshit. If blood started pouring out of my genitals, this would be a problem and it would have nothing to do with menstruation. I hope my mom's not watching today. This is absolutely insane. That is the first answer that pops up 
when you, when you Google can men menstruate. So now understand what's happening here. And I'm laying out a case. I'm laying out a case like a, like a lawyer down south. You understand here? Uh, the liberals, the Bill Maher liberals, and again, this is not an attack on Bill. I'm trying to help the guy actually. You can't get everything wrong then to, and then attack all of the people who tell the truth. Then two years later, s repeat what they say without a bit of a mea culpa, without a, I'm sorry, Dennis Prager, without a, oh, I voted in for all the wrong people and everything else. 